Hi, I'm Mrs. Testa, and this is Mrs. Federici, and we're representing the math department up at the high school. Uh, all students, you need four math credits to graduate at McDowell. So everybody will take Algebra 1, Geometry, and Algebra 2 at some level. Might be academic, might be honors, depending on where you fall. Then your fourth math credit would be honors pre-calc, if you're in the honors track, or these are both of our academic tracks, academic trig algebra three and academic consumer math. So you would fall for your fourth math credit into one of those spots. After that, you're technically done with math and then it turns over to the electives. And I'm gonna turn that over to Mrs. Federici to talk about our electives. Sounds great. Um, so our electives are, can be pretty intense. So you wanna choose wisely. We've got our three uh, levels of calculus. Uh, the first is your honors calc, which is equivalent to a college calc one. And then we all also offer the AP Calculus AB, which is Calc 1 and a little bit of Calc 2. And then Calc BC, which you have to take AB to take BC. It's the way we offer it here. Um, and Calc BC will cover your Calc 1, Calc 2, and a little bit of Calc 3. So pretty intense electives. Mrs. Federici, yep. would you also um, let them know about how the full year is different than the two semesters because that's yeah. often a that's, question. That's great. So we um, have a Calc AB offered as a full year two credit course, which is a great option for those that want to take the AP but are maybe a little um, nervous about going at that intensive a level. So it's offered as a full year, um, which is a great option. If you are in the planning on doing BC the same year as you're doing AB, then you must take AB intensive, which is one credit. Um, in the first semester and then you would follow through with the BC either in that same year or the following year. So there are two AB offerings, one that is a two credit and one that is one credit. If you take the one credit, you take it with the intention of taking Calc BC. Um, the but it's not required. Go ahead. Would you also comment to them on how they take the AP exam? and how they get a scaled score you want to elaborate Absolutely. on that. So if you just take the AB, whether it's the full year or the uh, first semester, um, you will take the AB exam in May. If you take the BC class, you will take the BC core, or excuse me, exam, which offers an AB subscore. So you will get a BC score and a score for your AB level content. So that's also a great option to have, um, especially if you took the AB in the full year and you're an underclassman and want to take BC, you get another shot at your AB score. So that's a great option there. Um, the other two electives is a probs and stats. This is excellent for college bound students um, that maybe struggle in math, but want to get that extra credit, in, uh, the extra elective credit, excuse me, um, for the, that course. That's a great option for college prep and college bound students. Um, it's very likely you will have to take a statistics class at uh, uh, some level. AP Stats is also a great um, offered course. It is obviously you can get your college credit for, for it and definitely more intense than your, your regular problem stats. This is offered at an academic and honors level and then your AP is obviously going to be further into the theory um, and um, instruction on statistics. And last but not least, I'm going to turn this over to the the advisor of the math club, Mrs. Testa. Hello again. Um, yes, math club is something that we started, uh, this is our third year. We are pretty proud of it as a math department. We have 70 plus members last year and this year, so I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. It's open to anybody in 11th or 12th grade. We just ask that you've at least taken pre-calc or trig algebra three. And we have all levels in the math club, which we're kind of proud of. Um, it isn't just your math geniuses, it's people that just in general like math and enjoy doing the activities. We try to get the school involved, we do pie days, we go to Edinburgh University's pie day, um, we try to go to the elementary and middle schools and just do some fun math activities. We also get into math history and research different mathematicians that we share with our club. So we feel that all levels have something to offer the, the math club. So if you're interested in it, look into it in your junior or senior year. Biggest, best club in the school. Yeah, we're proud of it. So thank you and we hope you choose McDowell.